In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite zone drops right now in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name's Cody, and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you are new to the YouTube channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21 and one of the ways that we do that is through sharing videos with you every single day that are designed to give you something um, that you can use either on the offensive side of the ball or on the defensive side of the ball to help you become a better player and so if you want to get free access to all of those tips all you have to do is hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen it's completely free and it just allows you to stay up to date with everything that we have going on here at the channel now, really quickly, I'm gonna dive into my coaching adjustments in just a second, but if you have not joined my text message membership yet, I would highly recommend that as well. It's completely free for you to be able to join it, and all you have to do is text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. You might notice that it's in the top right-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description, and every single week, we sit down for about an hour to two hours and break down a complete offensive or defensive scheme. So in the past, we've broken down um, schemes like the, the West Coast playbook. We've broken down the 3-3-5 uh, the wide defense a little bit. We've broken down the big nickel, uh, or I'm sorry, the match defense. We've broken down the big nickel over G, as well as some other defensive schemes. We've also broken down things like trips tied in, bunch tied in, U trips, split close, a lot of schemes. And so all you have to do, like I said, is just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And what's going to happen is I'm going to shoot you a text message with the playlist that has all of the schemes that we've already done. And it will also contain all of the schemes that we're going to do. So if you haven't seen them all yet, you can kind of play catch up and start with those videos. And then you can work, work your way into the new stuff as well. But I highly recommend it. It's a great tool. It's a great way that you can learn a lot of the meta as well as some of the things that aren't quite meta yet, but things that I think could be. Um, so they're just a super deep dive into the game. So if you want to get that, again, all you got to do is text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is in the top right hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so here's my preferred way to play defense right now as far as coaching adjustments goes. What I like to do is I like to put auto flip on. I like to have auto alignment set to default. I like my ball and air defense to be on play ball. Cornerback matchups are going to be on balanced. Option defense is going to be on conservative. Strip ball is balanced. Tackling is balanced. And then here's the key right here. I've been running 30-yard cloud flats and been having a ton of success with those. Um, and the reason why is I think that they get to a very unique spot on the field. It actually allows you, in my opinion, to play a lot of cover two. I've been playing a lot of cover two with this defense. It's been helping me contain you know, the, the, the corner routes, the crossing routes, and everything like that. If you want to, you can start with 25, even 20, and then kind of drift these back as the game goes on. But for my money right now, I really do like the 30-yard cloud flats. I think they're very difficult to beat um, consistently on the outside. It really allows you to protect against crossing routes, quarter routes, everything, and everything in between that. And then that's paired with a 10-yard curl flat. And the reason I like 10-yard curl flats right now is because, and again, if somebody is just dominant, dominantly throwing the ball to the flats, more than likely, I'm either going to man that player up or I'm going to drop these down to five. But I like to start with them at 10 yards. And the reason why is because 10-yard curl flats do a really good job at stopping things like motion slants, stopping things like out routes, stopping things like curl routes, um, different things like that. Okay, So this is going to kind of be an awkward zone that is going to defend a lot of different things that people are used to being able to throw against a Mabel type of defense. But this 10 yard uh, curl flat for my money right now is probably the best way to go. Like I said, if you wanna drop that down to five, you can. But for my money right now, I like the 10 yard curl flat. And then the five yard hook curl. The reason I like five yard hook curls kind of twofold. Number one, they actually help make up for the fact that these are at 10 yards. Vert hooks will play the flats relatively decently. Um, that can, what, what basically happens is the vert hook will play the flat for a second and that 10 yard curl flat will be able to come down and make a tackle okay so this can kind of work hand in hand and I like vert hooks right now as my yellow zone of choice because they play the flats 
and they kind of drift up and play the drag routes. But uh, the five yard uh, hooks for my money, they play drags, they play uh, little quick in routes, little quick hitches, things like that. They play uh, the flats for me fairly decently. And then the other thing that I was gonna say is that if you have athletes there, like if you have tall safeties that have high jumping that are going into these hook zones, um, or if they're tall linebackers or whatever, they will actually do a decent job at jumping things all the way back to 15 yards. So they'll jump in routes, they'll jump hurl routes, they'll, they'll jump different things. They'll actually surprise you with what they'll be able to do, okay? And so uh, anyways, real quickly here, I'm just gonna share with you kind of a little bit of a defensive strategy that I actually like. It's probably my base defense versus a lot. It's this cover four show two with, these, with those specific zone drops. And uh, I, against every formation, I have a little bit different you know, kind of, you know, different resources. But from trips tight end, for example, is actually probably the, I think this is the best way to play trips tight end right now. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cloud flat out there. I've got this quarter flat right there. And then I'm going to obviously shift my D line this direction. And then I'm going to put a vert hook right here, as you can see. And then from there, obviously my user is going to be kind of right in this little pocket. And then all I'm going to do, because I don't necessarily have against, at least for my money, I don't face a lot of trips tight end uh, offenses that do a great job of throwing um, up the seams and stuff like that. So what I'll do is I will basically go ahead and I will put a cloud flat out there and then I'm just gonna man up whoever I think is gonna be the problem receiver. So a lot of times in trips tight end, um, it ends up being this, this slot right here, the circle receiver. And what you'll see is let's say they throw, um, you know, let's say they throw a vertical, uh, let's say they throw three vertical kind of style routes on that left side. You're going to see that just because of the man coverage, um, it's going to do a really good job. As you see right there, that quarter does actually go out and play that really, really nicely. And so I'm kind of starting out with a lot of these cover two style quarters um, types of defenses. It's actually probably my preferred way to play defense right now. Um, a lot of people are aware that let's say that for example, they try to throw to the, the flat quick, okay? So if they try to throw the flat quick here, you're gonna notice again that yellow zone and they just come up and tackle them for about three to five yards. So they kind of keep everything in front of them. Uh, but this is kind of my preferred way to play. And again, I just basically apply it, rinse, rinse and repeat based on, based on the formation. So for example, like right here, this would be Y off trips, okay? So the defense is gonna change a little bit. Really, we would like to probably flip the defense and then we wanna basically create this, this look right here. Um, and then from there, we're just going to basically adjust, okay? So what I like to do is I'm gonna definitely have a, cl a cloud flat on that left side. Um, I'm definitely gonna probably have a vert hook dropping from that defensive lineman. And then now as we're working across the defense, you're gonna see over here on the right side that essentially I need to man this guy up onto somebody. So more than likely, we're gonna man up that linebacker on the slot. And then now if we're in a situation where they try to four vertical us, you're gonna see that this quarter's defense does a really good job. The quarter goes out to the outside receiver and he makes a, he makes a play on the ball. Now, if you have a little bit of a faster guy there, he's gonna get back better. But as you can see, the defense does a really good job against a lot of different things as long as you know how to adjust out of it. You wanna man up the slot, you wanna have the cloud flats out there, and then from there you can kind of mix and match it. But that's kind of how you run this defense. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. And if you wanna get my complete defensive guide that shows you how to stop every formation in the game, uh, shows you how to stop every run in the game, shows you pressure concepts, and shows you coverage concepts that you can use, I'd highly encourage you to pick that up. It's literally just 15 bucks, probably the best $15 that you'll spend on Madden all season long because you will be able to become a dominant defensive player literally within a weekend of running this defense. It will change everything for you defensively. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you want to get that full defensive guide, there's going to be a link in the description for you to be able to go pick that up.